Hello and welcome to the Zebra BI August update. We've got great news for you. Number one, we have shipped out a new template, this time on HR. Number two, we have released a beginner's guide. So if you're new to Zebra BI or have colleagues who would benefit from a really great getting started material, watch out for this one. And lastly, we are preparing a webinar on a really important topic. Tine, over to you. We added another piece to our report template collection. This month, our focus was on HR analytics. Let's do a quick demo of the report. It starts with the landing page, which already includes some reporting elements. The icons below are actually navigation buttons to different report pages, where topics like salary, demographics, hires, and terminations are covered. Additionally, we added a report tutorials button, where some tips on how to use a report are presented, which can provide better understanding for the end users. On the overview page, we have some top-level KPIs and category splits, including employment type, education, and satisfaction. In the top right, you can use report navigation to move on to the next page. On the salary page, we analyze how average salary from different departments, educational levels, and job roles is comparing the company's average salary, and how this is distributed headcount and total salary-wise. On a scatterplot chart, we can observe how average salary is impacted by different measures, like age, total working years, and number of years at the company. Additionally, you can switch between trend line view and size view, where the size of the bubbles represents distribution of number of employees. Next page is similar, but focus more on demographics. However, you can explore this more in depth by clicking on details button, which will lead you to our decomposition tree page, where different KPIs can be analyzed from different angles. And finally, we have hires and termination pages. Both have very similar structure. At the top, we have some top level splits and trends, while table below provides deeper insights of the profile of the users. By using the dropdown, you can analyze these from different angles. And since we use Power BI's field parameters, multiple selections are also supported. I hope you like this template. And as always, your feedback is much appreciated. And new templates are already on the way. So make sure to stay tuned. Hi, everyone. This is Lily from the BI department. Do you remember what was your biggest struggle when you started creating reports? Mine was definitely the process of transforming a given data set into powerful visualizations with a clear message to the viewer. To make your battles easier, we created Beginner's Guide video, which demonstrates how to build your first Zebra BI dashboard in under eight minutes. You can pick out your data set or download our example, and I will walk you through all steps in the video where we'll cover data importing with Enter Data option. We'll use Zebra BI cards to present our top targets continue with Zebra BI tables to get into the detailed structure, and finish by presenting time trends with Zebra BI charts. In the end, we will make a brief overview of the report to get some insights. By following this guide, you will be able to build Zebra BI dashboard without any previous knowledge of our visuals, and will end up with your own outstanding report in a very short time. Check it out and let us know your thoughts. New season of Zebra BI webinars is coming soon. For the next event, we've decided to tackle the issue of really slow Power BI reports. No one wants to wait for reports to load, especially if you're on a Teams meeting and trying to show something. So, during the webinar, we'll cover two topics that affect the speed of your Power BI reports. One of them is, of course, your data model design, where we'll show you best practices for organizing your data in the most optimal way. And the second topic that we'll cover is the best way to structure and organize your visuals on the report. As always, we'll try to make it as practical as possible. There's no reason for having slow Power BI reports, so make sure to join us on September 8th and find out what you can do to make your reports run 10 times faster. See you there. Thank you, Nasty. Performance optimization is a hugely important topic, so make sure to reserve your seat and read more about the August update in the link below. September is just around the corner, so I guess it's back to work for us. See you at the next Zebra BI update.
I hope you like this template. <laughs> <laughs>